So let's see the next problem. The crank and the connecting rod of a petrol engine running at 1800 rpm or 50 mm and 200 mm respectively. The diameter of the piston is 80 mm and mass of the reciprocating parts is 1 kg. At the point during the power stroke, the pressure on the piston is 0.7 Newton per mm square when it has moved 10 mm from the inner dead center. Determine net load on the gadget pin, thrust in the connecting rod, reaction between the piston and the cylinder. And the last question, engine speed at which the above value becomes zero. Okay, so this is a little bit of a tricky question, so you have to be very careful in listening to me. Okay, let's list down the given data. So, 1800 rpm is the speed of the engine. Find the omega for the 2 pi into 1800 by 60, 188.52 radians per second. Uh, crank radius is 50 millimeter, so 0 0.05 meter. Um, length of the connecting rod is 200 mm, which is 0 0.2 meter. Uh, diameter of the piston or the cylinder, both are same, right? Piston cylinder, uh, piston diameter is equal to cylinder diameter. Therefore, capital D is equal to 80 millimeter. Uh, mass of the reciprocating parts is equal to 1 kilogram. Pressure on the piston side is 0 0.7 Newton per mm square. Okay, so that is 0.7 into 10 power 6 Newton per meter square. So displacement of the piston at a particular when the pressure value happens at a point where the piston has moved 10 millimeter from the inner dead center. So that that's what you have to understand from this. So theta is not given to you. Theta you are going to find out with this x value. Okay, so if you remember the derivation that we done the first derivation velocity acceleration of the piston derivation first we have derived a formula for this uh, an equation for displacement of the piston then we differentiated it with respect to time to get the formula for velocity that expression we are going to use here to find the value of theta okay so this is the uh, approximate figure of the engine given to you and you can see that du during this during this uh, particular inclination we are we don't know the inclination it is it is to be considered as theta okay during this particular inclination the value of gas pressure is 0 0.7 into 10 to the power 6 newton per meter square and this is equal to 10 millimeter x so that is indirectly given to you now we are going to use the displacement expression from the derivation that is why i told you to study the derivation first okay if you don't know the derivation then you cannot do this problem at least you have to remember the displacement expression from the derivation okay now, what are all the things we are going to find out? Results to be found. Net load on the gadget pin can be taken as piston effort or it, uh, it can also be taken as FQ. Okay, thrust on the connecting rod. Here we are going to consider it as FP. Thrust on the connecting rod FQ. Reaction between piston and the cylinder walls. Engine speed at which reaction on the cylinder walls will be zero. Okay, so if you read the question very carefully, what is asked engine speed at which the above values become zero what is the above value look into the previous question so previous question reaction force between the piston and the cylinder so we are going to apply this above value to the previous question okay piston and the cylinder reaction force right now these are all the contents given in the problem let's move on so first i'm going to calculate the prerequisites data so obliquity ratio n equal to l by r 200 millimeter divided by 50 millimeter 4 okay next is your this is your expression for displacement of the piston from the first derivation if you go back and look into your derivation we would have written this expression displacement of the piston was derived as 1 minus cos theta plus sine square theta by 2n so this is the expression for displacement of the piston now i know the value of this x i want to find out the value of theta do you understand or not okay so now uh, substitute either you can directly substitute in millimeter or meter it is up to you but when you are doing it do it homogeneously if you put 10 millimeter here put 50 millimeter here if you put 0 0.01 here put 0 0.05 here so everything else will, the dimensions will get cancelled and you will get correct answer okay so i am going to directly substitute in terms of millimeters so the calculation will be a little bit easy for me so 10 so displacement of the piston is given as 10 x is equal to or radius of the crank is 50 millimeter into this entire thing remains same 1 minus cos theta is 1 minus cos theta i don't know theta sin square theta is sin square theta and n is 4 
I substituted n equal to 4. Okay. Now let us do a little bit of simplification. So substitute sin square theta equal to 1 minus cos square theta in the above equation. So that I can try to somehow make this into a quadratic equation and try to find the value of cos theta. Okay. That is the basic idea. So try to make this in place of this sin square theta put sin square theta equal to 1 minus cos square theta. Therefore your equation will change. What will happen? Just, just in that this red color sin square theta place I put 1 minus cos square theta. No other change is done. I have multiplied this 2 into 4 and I have written it as 8 in the denominator. This is 8. Okay. In place of sin square theta, I have written 1 minus cos square theta. No other change is exactly the same equation. Okay. So 10 equal to 50 into 1 minus cos theta plus 1 minus cos square theta by 8. Next step, you take LCM within the bracket. So take 8 as a common factor for the entire thing. So what will happen? So what will happen now? I have, I have to multiply this 8 with both the terms. 1 into 8 will give you 8, 8 into cos theta will give you minus 8 cos theta, there is a negative symbol here, okay, carry over that negative symbol here, minus 8 cos theta, and then you don't know, this, this already you are in the fraction, no problem, open up, since you have plus symbol, just directly open up the brackets and write, 1 minus cos square theta, whole divided by 8, okay, now I can send both these numbers to the left side, right, now since the equation has become homogeneous, Okay, 50 by 8, you can take this 8 outside and send the fraction next side. 50 by 8, I am taking the 8 outside, 10 equal to 50 by 8 into 8 minus 8 cos theta plus 1 minus cos square theta. Okay, so now I can cross multiply it to the left side. So, into 8 by 50. So, what will happen if you cross multiply, this 8 will go to the numerator, 50 will come to the denominator. So, 10 into 8 by 50 equal to, same, same equation is written again. Okay. In fact, you can club these two numbers, 8 and plus 1, it will become 9. Okay, so next step, so I have combined, uh, so I have solved this fraction, 10 into 8, 80 by 50 is 1.6. So 1.6 equal to again the same equation. So 8 minus, so send that 1.6 back this side, denominator of the right side equation and put equal to 0. Okay, so I am sending, so what I am trying to do, I am trying to generate a quadratic equation send it to the denominator this side so therefore 8 minus 8 cos theta plus 1 minus cos square theta by 1.6 equal to 0 so divide all the numbers okay you can club these to 9 by 1.6 okay so therefore so 9 minus 8 cos theta minus cos square theta divided by 1.6 divide each each component by 1.6 and simplify the equation so 9 by 1.6 is 5.625 8 by 1.6 is 5 right 5 times of 1.6 is 8 okay and 1 by 1.6 is 0 0.625 so i've just divided each component of the each component of this equation by 1.6 i have divided 9 by 1.6 is 5.625 8 by 1.6 is 5 5 cos theta and 1 by the one is here coefficient 1 by 1.6 is 0 0.625 cos square theta now i want to rearrange this equation and make it a little bit useful easy for mathematical solution so what you do just cross multiply this multiply this quadratic equation with minus 10 okay so multiply this quadratic equation with minus 10 what will happen the signs will reverse one decimal digit will add in all the numbers so what will happen to the equation uh, minus all the minus terms will become plus so 6.25 cos square theta plus 50 cos theta minus 56.25 equal to 0 now this is a quadratic equation I am going to solve this quadratic equation to find out the value of theta. So that is the, theta is not given to you, it is the tricky part of the problem, okay. So now let us take this equation, try to solve it using the mathematical method, minus b plus r minus root of b square minus 4ac by 2a. So uh, what is a, b, c? So coefficient of the square term is a, coefficient of the cos theta term is b and the constant is c, okay. So um, uh, B is, so A, B, C, let us write down A, B, C. This is C, A, A, this is B, and this entire thing with the minus sign is taken as C. So that's what I am going to write here. A is 6.25, B is 50, C is minus 56.25. So now I am going to substitute these A, B, C values into this formula okay what is x here look into the equation which term of the equation has square 
cos theta is having the square therefore x is nothing but cos theta so cos theta equal to all these numbers substituted into this formula okay so let's do it in the next step so cos theta equal to minus 50 because b is 50 so compare these two equations so b is 50 so minus b plus or minus root of b square minus 4 a is 6.254 a c is minus 56.25 along with minus you put it inside minus this minus entire minus is outside this minus c itself is having a minus put it inside the bracket minus 4 is actually there should be another bracket here i missed it okay doing when you are doing in a calculator do this minus 4 is divided by 2 into a is again 6.25 now solve this in your calculator and try to get an answer so the cos theta is uh, some number you will be getting uh, in that number you take the uh, both the numbers and try to solve and get one useful answer only one of the answers will give you a meaningful answer so that is 33.14 degree so theta is i have done the i have just found out the answer and i have done a cons cos inverse i got 33 degree this is 0.14 i can neglect okay so take 33 degree so i found out the theta okay next net load on the piston fl minus fi okay so load on the piston is pressure into area since only one pressure is given to you connecting rod area is not given therefore you can directly take pressure into area okay so pressure is 0.7 into 10 power 6 newton per meter square area is pi by 4 into area of the uh, diameter of the piston is 80 millimeter so 0.08 square which is 0.005027 so fl equal to 0.7 into 10 power 6 multiplied by that area 0.005027 which is going to give me 3520 newton please check it with your calculators load on the piston is 3520 newton okay so next step is to find the inertia force inertia force is mass and acceleration mr omega square r cos theta plus cos 2 theta by n okay so mr is 1 kilogram from the question omega is 188.52 radius of the crank is 0.05 meter 50 millimeter theta is 33.14 and n is 4 substitute all the numbers into the above equation so so do it carefully in place of mass of reciprocating parts i am going to put 1 kg in place of omega i am going to put 188.52 with a square in the formula and radius of the crank is 0.05 so in place of r i am going to put 0.05 so for theta i am going to put 33 just ignore the 0.14 don't worry about this put 33 Okay, or you can do 33.14 also, no problem. Into 2 theta, 2 into 33 divided by 4. Solve it with your calculator and try to find out the inertia force. Answer is 1671 Newton. Now we can solve for the piston effort. Net load on the gudgeon pin is also called as piston effort. Okay, so piston effort uh, equal to net load FL minus FI. So FL is 3520 Newton, FI is 1671 Newton. So I am going to put it. So I am going to get the answer as 1849 Newton. So net load on the gudgeon pin or piston effort is 1849 Newton. Okay. So next question, thrust on the connecting rod FQ. So sign, first let us find out the value of phi to do this. Uh, you know this general relationship. Therefore, I know that sin phi equal to sin 33 by 4 which is 0 0.1361. Therefore, do a sign inverse to get the answer as 7.82 degree phi equal to 7.82. Okay. So FQ thrust on the connecting rod equal to fp by cos phi so fp value is already found in the last slide we have found it out as 1849 and uh, the value of phi is 7.82 just now i have found out so put it back uh, into the equation so you will get the answer to be so if you see here you have just now found out fp fp to be 1849 i am putting it there okay so this a 1849 fp i am putting it here 1849 divided by phi i have just now i have found out here so that phi 1849 divided by cos 7.82 you solve it in a calculator you will see answer is 1866.3 fq thrust on the connecting rod is 1866.3 i think i missed it some something wrong with the animation okay right uh, thrust on the connecting rod is 1866.3 right so next question reaction between the piston and the cylinder walls okay fn formula for fn fp tan phi so fp is also known 1849 phi is also known 7.82 directly substitute it into the formula 1849 into tan 7.82 so 
so answer is 254 newton okay so reaction between piston and the cylinder walls is 254 newton so now we are going to do the last part of the question engine speed at which fn fn becomes zero so here you have to carefully understand it so i know the formula for fn is fp tan phi if fn should become zero then there is only one possibility either fp should be zero or the phi should be zero if phi is zero then it means that what is the what is the angle phi phi is nothing but the connecting rod inclination when it will be zero when your piston is at the inner dead center so that is not what we are trying to find out so before i start the power stroke normal reaction is zero that's not the answer i want i what i want is it again becomes zero somewhere during the cycle that's what i i want to find out therefore i want to find out a point where fp should become zero tan phi if tan phi is phi is zero then everything is zero that that that, that means that engine is not uh, not working before the power stroke it is zero right that everyone knows that's not the question what is the question when does the fp become zero during the rotation of the engine so to f fp what is the formula for fp so formula for fp when the value of fn becomes zero and fp becomes zero formula for fp is fl minus fi when does the fp become zero when fl is equal to fi okay when fl is equal to fi fp becomes zero right this simple equation if the left hand side should become zero these two should be equal only then the left hand side will become zero therefore what i am going to do i am going to write an equivalence i am going to write an equivalence fl equal to fi and put all the values into it and then i am going to find out the speed at which this thing will happen okay so therefore fl equal to fi solve for omega there is a particular speed at which this will happen so what is the formula left hand side do you recognize this formula what i have written here so this is nothing but pressure okay this is pressure this is area of the cylinder pressure into area is fl okay right side mass of the reciprocating parts mr okay omega so this is the new speed the speed at which what is the question engine speed at which fn becomes zero therefore the, i am going to find out speed is the answer so let us write it as omega 1 something different from the actual speed of the engine okay omega 1 radius of the crank is 0.05 cos theta is 33 and uh, 2 into 33 degree divided by 4 everything is same only thing is I have just put this as an unknown quantity and I am trying to find out that what will be the value of speed at which these two things will be equal, can become equal. So that omega I am going to find out. Okay. Solve for omega. So 3520 equal to pi naught omega 1 square. Just try to do the calculations, right? Left hand side, left hand side, right hand side except omega square. I have done all the simplifications. So omega omega 1 equal to square root of 3520 by pi naught therefore if you do the calculation you will get 273.6 radians per second this is omega try to change it into rpm okay so corresponding speed equal to 2 pi from n 2 pi n by 60 reverse it and find the n so omega 1 into 60 by 2 pi so 273.6 into 60 by 2 pi therefore it is 2612 rpm therefore the two, uh, 2612 rpm your value of fn will become zero okay so speed at which the fn becomes zero is 2612 rpm so that is the end of the problem let us sum up the results so first thing net load on the gadget pin or it can also be called as piston effort equal to 1849 newton so thrust on the connecting rod is 1866.3 newton reaction between the piston and the cylinder wall is 254 newton the engine speed at which this reaction will become zero is 2612 newton so that is the end of your problem this problem is taken from your Kurumi textbook example problem number 15.9. Okay.